I'm going to try out two quick patches for the keyboard with the brain seed that I like a lot. Hopefully you can see everything. I'm trying to squish it so you see every, as much of all the little components as possible. But so basically the first patch is I'm still going to clock the brain seed from the maths. And the difference is that I'm going to program the voltages from the keyboard. And this is a really fun way to do it. Basically you just grab the gate output from the keyboard, plug it into the reseed of the brain seed so that it, the recording is armed when the gate is high on the keyboard, and then grab the note output from the keyboard and plug it into the seed in of the brain seed. I've got it in variable length mode, which means as long as I record is how long it's going to record. And then it will loop when I let go of the keys. Um, it's in regular playback mode, quantizer is on. So let's try it out. Super fun. One time I messed up and you'll notice that the note played the same note every time and that is because I accidentally let go of the key too soon. You have to make sure to keep the keys legato, you know, not letting any spaces in between them. So that's the basic little patch for that. Um, let's see here. Next thing we could try out would just be doing the, the shift. So let's see here. I'm going to plug the note output of the keyboard into the shift input. And then we'll just go ahead and start uh, the sequence playing. A really fun variation of that is to switch out the freeze input for reset via the jumper. And you can reset the sequence every time that you play up and down the keyboard. And it's almost like a little mono arpeggiator at that point. So that's another cool one. And then finally, a really cool patch is to sort of strum the brain seed from the keyboard. So for that, what I'm going to do is turn off the cycling on the maths. And I'm going to trigger the maths from the gate of the keyboard. And I'm going to put the brain seed into CV scrub mode. And I'm going to get the note output from the keyboard. Once again, I'm going to plug it into shift. So now when I trigger the, the keyboard, it's going to trigger the maths on the left side, which is going to cause an envelope to scrub through the sequence of the brain seed. So let's give it a shot. And if I change the amplitude or the timing or the curve of the envelope, I'll get some changes rhythmically also. As a matter of fact, I can grab the output on the keyboard from uh, this interface that allows me to use the mod wheel as an output, and I'm going to plug that into the fall time of the maths. So let's try that out. Cool stuff.